Imagine AI as a race car, which is stuck in the first gear due to bad prompts. Are you tired of spending hours crafting the perfect prompts and still not getting the results you want? If you've ever heard of garbage in, garbage out, that's exactly how AI works. Whether you're trying to make money, save time, craft compelling content, or solve complex problems, one skill unlocks AI's full potential and that is prompt engineering. Prompt engineers can earn between $75,000 to $300 a year. And here's the best part, you can learn 80% of the key concepts in less time than it takes to finish your morning coffee. Mine's gone a bit cold. Drawing from my experience with top courses and real world problem solving in my finance role at a big tech company, I'm going to share the core elements of a basic prompt three advanced techniques and some bonus tips to help you get ahead. Starting with core elements of an effective prompt. Imagine you're using ChatGPT to write a blog post about making money. You might start with a simple prompt like write a blog about making money. ChatGPT will generate an article, but each time the results and side hustles might be totally different. And now if you tweak your prompt to say write a blog about making money online by freelancing, highlighting the benefits challenges and steps to get started, you just use the first key component of an effective prompt, clear instructions on what you want the AI to do. Clear instruction can include words like generate, analyze, write, review, and so on. Being specific and clear in our instructions boosted the quality of the output. But there's more. The second crucial element is context. Let's say your blog post was for college students seeking to earn extra income. You know this, but the AI does not. So let's improve our prompt by adding the audience as college students seeking to earn extra income. This context helps ChatGPT tailor its language and content appropriate for college students. Now the output looks better, but what if you wanted to include tips for freelancing and have a specific structure? That's where the third element comes in, that is defining the format of the output. We'll take the same prompt and add our desired format at the end, asking ChatGPT to structure the blog post with an introduction, then one paragraph for each of the five sections, benefits, challenges, steps to get started, key tips, and useful resources ending with a brief conclusion and the blog post should be 1000 words long. Now we have the blog post in the format, section and length we want. If you compare the original article with the one after adding a clear instruction, context and output format, the difference is clear. But what if you don't have clear instructions because the task is new to you and you haven't figured out the desired output or context yet? Sometimes we just don't know what we want and need guidance to solve a problem. That's true for many things in life, but coming back to prompting. The flipped interaction method solves that problem. Instead of telling AI what you need, you swap roles and let the AI lead by asking you questions. An effective flip interaction prompt has three key parts. Let's say you want to start investing in the stock market, but have no idea where to begin. Your prompt will start by instructing the AI to ask questions aimed at reaching your desired goal, which in this case is to create a tailored investing plan. Next, you define a clear stopping condition for the AI to stop asking questions because you don't want to be bombarded with 50 questions. This could be something like until you have enough information to suggest an investment strategy or limit the number of questions to a certain number. The third element is to specify how the questions should be presented. Do you want them one at a time or all at once? Putting this all together, your prompt will look like this. Now the AI starts by asking about your financial goals, short, medium, or long-term, followed by your risk tolerance and how long you plan to keep your money invested. It then considers your asset preferences and the time you're willing to commit to managing your investments. Having invested for the last three, four years, I'd say these questions are a solid starting point for creating a personalized strategy and shows how powerful this prompt method can be. You can use flip interactions for troubleshooting tech issues, generating quizzes to test your knowledge, getting product or service recommendations based on your preferences, or even interactive storytelling where the AI asks you questions and your answers determine how the story moves. 
But sometimes even using these techniques, the AI's output isn't what you expect or want, which can be quite frustrating. You can fix this by using the few short prompting method, a clever technique where you provide the AI with a few examples to help it clearly understand what you want. Suppose you want to make money by offering product description writing service for online sellers, a popular way to earn on platforms like Fiverr. Many sellers are willing to pay for a compelling product description that boosts their sales. Without few short prompting, you might type, write a product headline and description for an original leather wallet, include placeholders where I can add product specific details like its dimensions. But with few short prompting, you supply the AI with example headlines and descriptions so it can learn the exact type of headline and descriptions you're looking for. To do this, let's first visit Amazon and search for leather wallets. Navigate to the men's wallet category and select the top two wallets with well-written headlines and descriptions. Then incorporate these examples into your original prompt, instructing the AI to use them as a reference example. After using this, the final headline for your product is much refined to better emphasize the key features of the wallet and structured in a way to make a compelling headline and description. Few short prompting isn't just for product descriptions or emails. For example, you can use it to create social media posts which reflect your writing style or solve complex problems by including sample of problems and their solutions which will increase the quality of the output you get from the AI. But what if you're working on a complex project or idea that's new to you and you don't have any examples to provide? For these complex tasks, you can use the chain of thought prompting technique. Think of it as guiding the AI through a step-by-step -step reasoning process, just like how you would approach a tough problem. Instead of asking for a simple answer, you break your query into smaller logical steps. This helps the AI grasp the details and gives you more insightful, actionable results. Suppose you're interested in starting a side hustle to earn some extra money, but aren't sure where to begin. A basic prompt might be what are some good side hustles with low effort, that will give you some ideas. But let's enhance this using chain of thought prompting. Our prompt will look something like this. Follow the below instructions in the prescribed sequence. First, ask me about my skills, interests, and available time. Then identify and share a list of side hustle ideas that match my profile. From that list, once I select the ideas I like, evaluate the potential income and time commitment for each idea. I will pick one idea from the final three for which you will generate a business plan. Now for the first question, let's say something like, I love baking, I only have free time on weekends or evenings and I'm good at communication. By the way, I just made all of that up. I have probably baked a couple of times my whole life. Now going back, the AI has come up with five ideas. Let's go with content creator and podcasts for potential income and time commitment. And looks like there is more potential in content creation, so we'll proceed with that. And now the AI is still following the original chain of thought prompt, writes a business plan, which from my experience of having been involved in reviewing and writing dozens of business plans, seems like a good start and will give anyone enough material to get started by asking a few more clarifying questions. Now, before you use this prompt to figure out the right side hustle for you, I have three bonus tips to level up your prompt game. First tip, role prompting. Role prompting sets the AI into a certain role by including instructions like you are a doctor or you are a lawyer in the prompt. Setting roles like this gives the AI more context, helping it understand the question better and provide more accurate answers. You can also use this to prepare for an interview, negotiate with a customer, or prepare for a difficult conversation at work by asking the AI to play the role of the other party. Second tip, fact check the information in the AI output. This is a huge risk when using AI because it can just make stuff up. But there is an easy solution and that is to use Perplexity AI or the new web search function within ChatGPT 40 which only provides information which it can link back to sources on the internet. I recently made a video about mastering Perplexity AI which you can check out if you're interested. I will include a link in the description. Third tip, develop reusable prompt templates for common tasks, which can be reused with minimal changes. This saves time and ensures consistency in your prompts. Fourth tip, when crafting your prompt, include what you don't want the AI to do. For example, you might say, don't use jargon or avoid formal language. This helps ensure the AI's output matches your expectations. Well done on making it this far. Now that you've learned 80% of prompt engineering, 
How can you use it to make money? To help you find the answer, you might like this video where I talk about two proven ways to make money with ChatGPT. And if you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe to join the community with me and hit the bell icon so you don't miss my videos on money, personal growth, and AI.